Ladies and gentlemen, I am so thrilled to be able to uh, introduce to you uh, a very special lady tonight who has for you a very special announcement. This lady knows how to handle power. This lady lights up every room that she walks into. This lady is a hard charger who, who brings a buzz to every organization she's involved in, every group she's involved in. The announcement she is going to make tonight will bring an electric excitement to the crowd because it will transform this community, this region. This woman is the epitome of empowered womanhood, the empowered female. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you join me in giving a warm Texarkana welcome? Put your hands together for our Congresswoman from the 5th Congressional District of Arkansas, the powerful, the lovely, the able, the empowered, Nessie Needlemeyer. Good evening, everyone. I am Nessie Needlemeyer, your 22-year veteran of service in the hallowed halls of Congress. The 5th Congressional District of Arkansas has been so kind to send me to Washington to represent you. It's very pleasing to me to be here with my friends and dignitaries, with the honored members of local elected officials, and with my constituents as well. I would like to uh, inform you, unfortunately, that I had promised that I would bring to you the Secretary of the National Endowment for the Humanities, who would present uh, to you, in, in addition to the announcement that I also bring, but as we were waiting in the airplane in Washington just hours ago, wow, thank you, uh, his plans changed and he was unable to attend. So, unfortunately, we will look forward to uh, only seeing him by video uplink in a few moments, but his message will still be forthcoming. I would like to take this opportunity to... Uh, yes, Ellen. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge those members of, of the audience who have been so active in bringing this festival to you. I am so glad to be here. I'd like to start with Brian Gazel. Brian? Brian, new to track, but uh, highly efficient. And uh, Ruth Ellen Witt, I believe Ruth Ellen is here. Ruth Ellen, long term, uh, active in the community, and of course had lots to do with this particular festival. Uh, there are other members of the staff that I would like to note. I have names here. Uh, I believe there's Randall. Is Randall on site? Or uh, Rosetta, I believe. Anyway, Rosetta and Randall and Anita Fran and Frank. Anyway, all of the members of the track organization are to be commended for uh, such a lovely event this evening. And while I am introducing people, I would like to introduce my staff to you as well. First, I have Ellen, my chief of staff. Many of you have known her because she's been with me from the beginning. Ellen, Ellen E. Fishant. And it is my honor to introduce the newest member of my staff. She is uh, fast becoming known as the uh, darling of D.C., the uh, wonder of Washington. She is as effective as she is beautiful. She is my uh, constituent liaison. She's come to us just recently. There she is. Dee, could you wave, please? Her name is Dee Sepshawn. And Ms. Sepshawn will be who you will, well, who you will talk with if you call my office in any area of needs as far as constituency needs are, are required. I would like to tell you how I spent this morning before we get into the actual announcement. As you know, I've been there for a very long time and I have risen to 
high powers, high levels of power, and I was able to spend the morning speaking, unfortunately, to a rather limited number of bodies, but I was still able to read my comments into the congressional record, and I let them know how horrified I have become at the mismanagement and misspending of your federal tax dollars. The pork barrel projects that are coming out of the hallowed halls of Congress are unbelievable. Your money is being collected and going to all sorts of places which uh, benefit no one and brings nothing to the common good. And I want to encourage you to continue to vote for me so that I can do away with all pork barrel projects in this country, single-handedly if necessary. And I would appreciate your vote in November, but that's another matter. There actually are many things going on in this area I would like to address, just the changes in uh, elected officials, um, the new power plant coming into my district. I would like to speak to that just a moment. Um, a highly charged issue, wonderful opportunity, bringing jobs, as I have promised, to come into the area. And actually, the announcement that I have to make has something to do with that new power plant in my district. As you know, it will be built near Fulton, and it will be a power plant, and as such, I have encouraged the National Endowment for the Humanities to come up with a project to honor me as I feel I should be honored, and as such, they have agreed to honor the empowered woman of America, of which I will be the representative. Thank you very much.